Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to uh, show today a really, really basic script for uh, organizing your phone photos and videos. So if you are uh, frequently taking videos on your Android device and you're putting that up to an Ubuntu computer and you want some way to quickly organize, sort out between photos and videos. Now I've talked before about using, uh, going into DevTools on Android and using the PTP, that's the photo transfer protocol as far as I'm aware. That's what that stands for at least. And uh, that is, in my experience, the most reliable way of transferring photos and videos. Um, if you're doing other stuff, then you can use a different transfer method. But I personally set that as default uh, and it works really, really reliably. So um, I'm just here on my Android or one of my Androids. It's uh, actually an old phone I'm using now just for videos, which is really handy if you cycle through a few Androids. And uh, when you use PTP, it pulls automatically into the media folders. And I just created here a couple of ridiculous uh, stock uh, photos and videos that uh, just to demonstrate one of myself sitting at my computer desk. So I've got myself two JPEGs and two um, MP4. So what I'm gonna do is show you my script in action. So I'm just gonna, using a few keyboard shortcuts here, uh, copy these over to mixed photos and videos. So I'm just copying from the phone over to my computer, or rather that's hopefully what's gonna happen. Yep, and that's just gonna take a second to run because they're pretty light uh, files. Now here's the script that I ran. Now I um, have now got all my media files on a separate um, separate physical volume on my computer um, so that there's no space constraints. So I covered a video a few days ago about how to set an automatic mount point for a second storage volume on Ubuntu. Uh, you can either do that by editing etc fstab or you can use a GUI. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to have consistent paths. So this is my, don't laugh, this is my two line script. And all it does is it pulls this folder for uh, anything that is a JPEG. So asterisk here to denote a wildcard dot JPEG. And then it puts it into a separate folder I have for photos separate folder for videos, and you could just go on and on. You could kind of say, well, let's also uh, throw the PNGs into that folder. And let's also, um, let's say we're using .mov as well. So all the .movs and all the MP4s will go into the video folder and all the PNGs and the JPEGs will go into this path, uh, which is the main point is up to here media, video, raw, phone, photo. That's just how I have all these folders then bookmarked on my uh, PC Man FF, PC, PC Man FM. Um, and now all I need to do is, what you should do if the first time setting this up, there's a handy shortcut here called open the current working directory in a terminal. And uh, what you'd want to do is just make sure after, say after writing and saving the script, just make sure it's got execute permissions so do an LS and uh, you can see if it's green, um, then it should be executable or depending on your color screen. And if it's not, you just need to, using the super user, you just need to give it execute permissions. So that would be the command. I'm not gonna run it because it's already executable. And once you've got that far, all you need to do is one click on your script and click on execute and watch this. Boom, they're gone. Now I need to just write, I need to edit the script a bit, so it's gonna pull into the folders, but this is, uh, I'm not usually using folders at the moment. So these are all, the, you can see the stuff I grabbed off my phone, the uh, selfie that I just took on my phone is here. And if you go into the video directory, I told it to move to then the uh, video. And that's gonna be video transfer thing for a video on YouTube. And that's there as well. So everything works fine. And uh, this is very useful if you're doing this frequently and you're not dealing with you know 10 or 20 photos and videos you're dealing with a few hundred and that would be very cumbersome to move manually so you could run the script each time or you could just uh, save a quick bash file and uh, have just be able to click once and you'll just move everything into separate phone and video folders that's it thank you guys for watching more videos coming soon